here are some poems written when I was 14 or 15, which would be 17 or 16 years ago, from my first volume of poetry. It was called Anarchy, Humor, and Hate, Volume 1. Freedom. Freedom. Is it a joke? Is it really possible? Or just nonsense? I yearn for freedom. I want to be free. Is it a necessity or just me? I will never be free the way I am. I am trapped in an eternal box where there is no freedom, just hope. Someday I shall be free, free to do as I please without persecution, without a second guess. So let me be free, not just in words, freedom. Freedom from rules, freedom from lies, freedom from all who dies. If I shall not be free, I shall not wish to exist. Kill. He beat me with a blue stick that reeked of unwashed socks. It was not the harshness of the stick which knocked me out, but it was the stink of socks that killed me dead. Anti-establishment. Anti-establishment is what I am. The establishment is corrupted and way too restrictive. Destroy the establishment and let people be people. Do as they please without rules and regulations. Motherland. Hail to the motherland. Hail to the motherland. Not. The motherland style is disliked by me. When will it be better? Never. Nazi Germany. You did bad. Mr. Rico. There's a man named Bill in the South. He recruits youngsters says God has ate off. He has a store. He sounds sincere about Caucasians' interests. Damn him and others who follow. The Aryans must go, and there's no no about it. Damn Mr. Rico. In case you're wondering, back in those days I saw an MTV special on white supremacists, and Bill Rico was on there. DTI and FCC. The DTI and FCC, they are both at fault. They both are no good, so we must do our part. Free the airwaves, city by city, country by country. We want the airwaves to be ours. We can do this by eliminating the FCC and DTI. Both must be abolished to be like Italy. We want free airwaves to express our thoughts. Set them free. Free from regulations. Free the airwaves now. Legalize. Legalize marijuana, legalize cocaine, legalize them all, I am not insane. It's my life and I can screw it up if I please. I can die if I want to, so just legalize. Legalize LSD, let me use my asset, let me get high and not know where I am. Let me do all the drugs I desire, I want to have a heart attack, so just let me. To die in cardiac arrest is pleasurable for me. They solve my problems and create no more, they take me to foreign lands just like books. Legalize every substance and let me use them as much as I yearn. Do not hold away my drugs. By the way, that's not written from my per- first person perspective. This was a poem when I identified as a libertarian. I am a libertarian. In an age of nonstop red tape and bureaucratic nonsense, a libertarian emerges. I am a libertarian with the law that says I do not care. I do what's right and not what I'm told. I am not an anarchist just for human rights. I think for myself. Am not another robot in the endless procession called life. I do not make rules for rules' sakes. I make them because they are needed. I stand up for what's right, even if my life is on the line. The traditions of lifetimes have no bearing on me. Only what I think is right and what I do is for my own thoughts. Nowadays, I find libertarianism to be too restrictive. Thy eagle, thy standeth on thy hill, thy sights an eagle, thy becomes greatly thrilled. Thy calleth out to thy fellow man. Thy fellow man careth not about thy eagle. Only thy careth about thy eagle. Only thy liveth upon thy earth. At sea one day. When I was at sea one day, I was having quite a good time. I ate some spinach, corn, and fish. The fish was poisoned despite my knowledge. My stomach began to make strange sounds. I thought it was slight indigestion. I popped a few seasickness pills into my mouth. An hour later, my stomach hurt more. It occurred to me it was seasickness. I carefully vomited over the edge. Some sharks became rather angry. A few bit off a piece of the boat. My stomach was hurting more than ever. I coughed up blood. It was red. I drank half a bottle of Pepnobisnol. Immediately following the digestion of the Pepnobisnol, it came out of my mouth along with chunks green and purple alike. I observed three members of my crew 
glowing chunks of colors I've never seen before. There was one cure left for me to try. I ate 16 habanero peppers. A few minutes later, severe pain occurred. My stomach was again making unusual sounds. They sounded like dynamite exploding. I quickly waddled to the boat's cook. He said, you look under the weather. I agreed with him quite quickly, for I needed some important information. I inquired to him what he had added to our nourishment. He replied, just some salt and some pepper, and that I may be suffering from scurvy, and I should take more vitamin C in the future. Just then, I spotted some strychnine. I exclaimed, matey, you are in trouble. I grabbed his neck very tightly, vomited, exited my mouth, and entered his. I made the statement, you are fired, and I poetically launched him overboard. My condition was not improving. I obtained a bottle of rum. I drank 203 ounces of it. It put me out just like that. I awoke two days later to a face of a medical professional. He advised me to watch the spices for quite a while. I cried, oh doctor, please no. He said I must or bad things like bad things will occur, like my stomach being pumped or even worse, removed. Oh now, today I have half a stomach, but at least I'm still alive. Trees. Trees are not for abusing, they are for using. And using I mean correctly, not stabbing them with machetes like a friend of mine named Jake did, or exposing them to extreme heat or giving them electrical charges. Trees are oxygen, trees are fun, trees are everything for everyone. Sam, too many rules and regulations make Sam a mean man. No government. I can't sit, talk, or do anything. We cannot allow this to happen. We must replace, for the best government is no government at all. Down in the dumps. When I'm sad and withdrawn, I pick up those balls. When I'm mad and frustrated, I toss them in the air. When I am bored and dissatisfied, I throw them all around. When the world has got me down, I juggle. The cowboys. They play and play all day and never work. They are the cowboys. The infringer. If you infringe me, I will dearrange thee. My creativity is not your pastime. My works are mine and not yours. My patents aren't yours to sell. You should not profit from my ideas or things you don't like will occur. Don't infringe my sacred work. Pay me, you jerk. Violate. Let's violate every regulation the FCC has made. Let's violate many, not all. Only the many that are strict, which is almost every. Books. Knowledge is what I have from reading. Many books. Each book I read, I am smarter. I read millions, so how smart am I? Defrauding the U.S. Post Office. Defrauding the U.S. Post Office is very fun. Using stamps twice or none at all. Abusing bulk rate mailing, sending fictitious stuff, sending fake threats, switching addressee and sender to avoid the cost of stamps. Defrauding the post office is fun indeed. Not really. I'm a skinhead. I'm a skinhead. I wear unstylish boots. I shave my hair way too short. I get my body tattooed with stupid swastikas. I hate blacks, I hate Jews because they are smarter than myself. I am ignorant, I am dumb, I am a skinhead, and proud. Cowboys on the trail. I see cowboys on the trail. They are singing stupid cowboy songs. Kai ya yippee kai ya ya ya. They are redneck and naive. A big city to them is a population of 5,000. They herd up cows and bulls. Hotels won't let them in because their boots mark up floors and their spurs destroy the carpet. And they track trail dust in. They think it's the 19th century. They sit on their, they sit all day on their butts. And then they complain about the working man troubles. Come back and tell me they have it tough when they get a real job. My book. I wrote a book which I cannot read. It is declared obscene. What does that mean? No one can read it anywhere. No one can see my opinion. If I touch it, I go to prison. They say the First Amendment is out of date. I toiled so long and now it's banned. It's censored for none to see. The FCC. Take a long, boring test just to push a button and talk. The test is full of useless data so you can turn it off. You must memorize 200 questions so you can answer 20. Study for two years for a test that's an hour long. And with a ham license, I cannot play music. I cannot cuss or swear. I can only use certain frequencies. Down with the FCC.